Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and in today's video, we'll be looking at the uh, performance analysis of the uh, AMD Ryzen 5 3400G on an X570 motherboard. So a cousin of mine wanted to build a uh, budget gaming system with the option to upgrade the CPU and uh, graphics card at a later date. So uh, he's got a tight budget, and I decided, oh, well, why don't you get the uh, AMD Ryzen 5 3400G? It comes with uh, four cores and eight threads, as well as the uh, uh, Radeon Vega 11 graphics. The AMD Ryzen 5 3400G is built around the uh, 12 nanometer FinFET process and comes with uh, four cores and eight threads. It also features uh, two gigabytes of L2 cache and uh, four gigabytes of L3 cache. It operates on a base frequency of 3.7 GHz with a boost speed of uh, 4.2 GHz. Now, I know most gaming systems require a dedicated graphics card, but of course, if you're a budget gamer and uh, you want to decide to buy a graphics card later, why not get a processor with built-in Vega graphics? Now, of course, uh, this one uh, comes with the Vega 11 and it should perform pretty well. It is right now one of the uh, most advanced uh, uh, CPU with built-in graphics. Uh, it should perform much better than the Intel one that we've tested in the past. Uh, so, yeah, I think this is a, a great opportunity to build a gaming system and with the uh, option to upgrade later, uh, especially with the X570 motherboards. I will be putting this into a mini motherboard. This is the uh, ASRock uh, X570 Phantom Gaming ITX uh, with uh, Thunderbolt and uh, give it a test and see how it performs. All said and done, the AMD Ryzen 5 3400G is basically a step up from the uh, Ryzen 3 3200G. Both processors have 2 megabytes of L2 cache and 4 megabytes of uh, L3 cache with a DDP of uh, 65 watts. The main difference between the two are the number of processing threads. On the Ryzen 5 3400G, you get 4 cores and 8 threads, while the Ryzen 3 3200G comes with only 4 cores and 4 threads. As for the built in Radeon Vega graphics, the 3400G features 11 GPU cores as opposed to 8 GPU cores on the 3200G. Some of you are probably wondering, is it worth spending the extra $50 to get the Ryzen 5 3400G over the Ryzen 3 3200G? Well, the real question you should be asking yourself, what will you be using the system for? If it's only for web browsing, some online shopping, and maybe checking your emails and probably watching some YouTube, then I think the Ryzen 3 3200G will do just fine. But if you're going to do some occasional gaming uh, with basic settings, then I would suggest the uh, AMD Ryzen 5 3400G. It may not be the most powerful CPU for gaming, but it does come with 4 cores and 8 threads with a built-in Radeon Vega 11 graphics. No other retail processor out there with built-in graphics can match it right now. However, if you think the uh, built-in Vega 11 graphics isn't enough, you can always upgrade to a more powerful graphics card at a later date. One question that sprung up quite often uh, was why didn't I just get the Ryzen 5 3600 with a separate graphics card instead? Well, the truth is a Ryzen 5 3600 processor would cost you around about $199 with another $160 for a decent graphics card, say a GeForce GTX 1650. This would give me a total of uh, $359 uh, or above just for the CPU and graphics card. This means another additional $210 to add to my original budget uh, of uh, 650 giving you a total of uh, $860 or more. Yes, I do agree, the CPU and the graphics card combo uh, is much more powerful, but remember, the Ryzen 5 3400G with built-in Radeon Vega 11 graphics only cost a total of $143, so uh, you can do the math. During our benchmarks, we got a PC Mark 10 score of uh, 4,742, with a Pass Mark 9 score of uh, 3,873. For 3D Mark Time Spy and Fire Strike, we got a score of uh, 1,348 and uh, 3,571, respectively. Uh, it isn't the best score I've seen, but do bear in mind it is a built in onboard graphics, but featuring the uh, Radeon uh, Vega 11 graphics. For Cinebench, we got a CPU score of uh, 817. Um, again, it's not the best score, but you do get four cores and eight threads, which is more than enough for most users uh, based on the budget system. Well, it's another fun weekend for me. 
I enjoy building my cousin's basic gaming system. He said he'll be buying a GeForce GTX 1660 at a later date, uh, which I think is a perfect match. So in the end, our complete PC build cost us approximately $650, which sounds about right. It's not the most high end, but bear in mind, I'm using the uh, X570 motherboard, which means I can upgrade the CPU uh, to a more powerful Ryzen 7 or even a Ryzen 9 at uh, any time. And also another bonus is the uh, X570 motherboard comes with the uh, PCIe 4 standard, which means uh, you get a faster uh, throughput for uh, any PCIe 4 devices. So this system is pretty much future proof, well, at least for 2020. The AMD Ryzen 5 3400G is perfect for users who may not have the necessary budget to buy a discrete graphics card. The built-in Radeon Vega 11 graphics is adequate for some uh, basic gaming and uh, you can't expect too much from it. Call it a temporary solution until you get yourself a better graphics card. You can check out the full performance analysis on our website at thinkingit.com. And there you have it, this is the performance analysis of the uh, Ryzen 5 3400G on the X570 motherboard. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy all these items via the uh, links in the description and uh, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yes, hit that subscribe button for more. So until our next video, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.